triangles. Now, in the previous video, we saw when are two lines congruent. That is, when they are of the same length. Okay? We also saw that two angles are congruent when they are of the same size. Similarly, two triangles, let's say triangle ABC, L, M, N. Please don't go by the size differential between these two. Now, two triangles, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle L, M, N. When? When both of them are basically of the same size, in the sense that if you place triangle LMN over triangle ABC, they will be of equal size and length. So there are certain points which have to be noted in case these two triangles are congruent. What? I mean, these two triangles will be congruent when A, you have to move one by one. So which is the first thing which is here? It is A. And here it is L. So if two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding sides would fall on each other, which means that A will be mapped with L. B will be mapped with N. Why? Because this is the this is the second one. Okay? And here the second one is L. And the third is that N will correspond to C. The reason is pretty simple mm. as to why these will correspond to each other. Okay? But these sides will fall on each other, is what we are trying to communicate here. Now, having said this, if that be the case, then you have to see how do lines map with each other. Lines, or rather, sides. Now, if L maps with A and M maps with B, then AB should map with LM. Similarly, BC would map with MN. And AC will map with LM. So, these are the way you have to find out the corresponding sides. Now, the property of congruency is that if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding sides and angles which would change the equation somehow. So what would this mean? This would mean that side AB is equal to LM, BC is equal to MN, AC is equal to LM. Similarly, angle A is equal to angle L, angle B is equal to angle M, and angle C is equal to angle N. If, 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 if ABC is congruent to <coughs> triangle LMN, then these angles, the corresponding angles have to be equal and the corresponding sides also have to be equal. Now many a time you will come across problem which will not tell you as to which sides are equal. They will tell you to find out whether the triangles are congruent. And how do you do that? To do that, you basically find out whether the sides, whether the sides of two triangles are equal, whether their angles are equal, and then based on certain defined parameters, which we will be discussing in the subsequent videos for congruency of triangles, they are congruent or not. That we will see in the subsequent videos, but from a perspective of congruency of triangles, if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding sides and angles are equal, which on the reverse side would mean that if two 
if the angles and the sides of a two triangles are equal, then effectively those triangles are congruent. 